Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siawash is here and in today's tutorial, as you requested, we are going to configure the GRE tunnel in Cisco Packet Tracer. GRE or Generic Routing Encapsulation is a tunneling protocol developed by Cisco. GRE can encapsulate a wide variety of network layer protocol inside virtual point-to-point -point links over an IP network. So by this definition, let's take a look at today's tutorial topology. Here we have a site A with network of 192.168.2.0/24 connected via R2 go to the internet ISP, reach to the R3 and connect it to the site B on a network of 192.168.3.0/24. R2 and R3 as mentioned connected via internet Internet actually is a one router, so you can drag any router like 2911, click on it and create the new cluster and it, uh, Packet Tracer create this beautiful cloud for you and act as a internet cloud for you. And we have a public IP addresses connected 10.0.12.0/24 between R2 and internet and 10.0.13.0/24 between R3 to internet. So I'm going to start the configuration from the scratch so you can follow and learn with me. Let's connect to internet and configure this. Okay, I click here, make it slightly bigger, then go back, use Alt tab, bring up the configuration and we're going to configure the connection between internet and R2 on site A. So enable the router, go to global config mode, let's put the host name as ISP router and go to the interface gig 0 slash 0 description to R2. Okay, and we have no shot, we have an IP address of 10.0.12.1, 255.255.255.0 slash 24 and we have a gig 0 slash 1 which is connected to R3 and no shot and set the IP address of 10.0.13.1 slash 24. Here we go. Let's take a closer look on the configuration here. Nothing special. Host name, interface gig 0 slash 0. Put the description, set the IP address here. Go to the link connected to R3 and set the IP address. Let's verify the configuration, show IP interface brief. Okay, links are configured, but it's not up yet because the other side is not configured. So we've done with the ISP. We go to R2, let's do the configuration, enable the router, go to global configuration mode, set the host name as R2, and let's start with configuration of interface. So interface, Geek 0 slash 0 is go to the ISP, to ISP, okay, here we go, no shot, IP address is 10.0.12.2 slash 24.255.255.255.0, and let's uh, create, um, define the interface to the LAN also, Geek 0 slash 1, description to LAN, and no shot, IP address is 192.168.2.1 slash 24. This IP address act as a gateway for site A LAN. So let's check the configuration, show IP interface brief. Yeah, let's make it slightly wider. We can read this much more easier. Things are up. Let's ping the ISP 10.0.12.1. We can reach to the ISP. Yes, very good. So let's create one loopback interface also. I'll just say when I want to broadcast this, uh, advertise this network in a brief later, you can see that network. So interface loopback zero. So loopback is always up 222 slash 32, which is 255, 255, all the four parts. So now show IP interface brief. Here we go. Everything looks very good. Here we go, yeah. Link to ISP up, link to LAN up, loopback is up. 
So let's configure the PC0 on the site A as well. Go to IP configuration, set the IP 192.168.2.10 in the segment, and finally config the gateway. So let's check. Can we reach to R2? 192.168.2.1. Here we go. That's very good. So this PC is ready. Site A configuration is almost done. We go to R3. Let's make it slightly wider. And you can see it here is nice. Okay. Enable. Go to global config. Set the host name or tree. Okay. Interface gig 0 slash 0. IP address is 10.0.13.2 slash 24. Now you must be master of this configuration because you're following our tutorial. So go to interface gig 0 slash 1 to the LAN. No shot description to the LAN and the IP address is 192.168.3.1 slash 24. This IP again act as a gateway for site B. Do show IP interface brief. Let's see how the configuration. Everything looks okay. Interface loopback zero. Okay. And IP address is 3.3.3.255.255.255.255. .3 .3 .3 .255 .255. Let's put the slash 32. Show IP interface brief. We're using do. We are in global configuration mode. Here we go. So let's check the connectivity between R3 and ISP. Here we go. We can ping the ISP. But at the moment, if we take a look at the show IP route, we cannot see any route to the other side. Usually in a real world network, you use the default route or maybe other routing protocol between your router and ISP and then ISP provide the reachability to the public IP address for the other side. However, if you go to R2 and we want to ping 10.0.13.2 or 1, which is the public IP address of R3, we couldn't reach to the other side because we don't have any route at the moment. So at least one minimum static route is necessary here. Go to the global configuration, IP route, put the static default route 000000 to 10.0.12.1. Here we go. Do show IP route. The route is added successfully. Here we go. Yep. Let me take a look. IP route 000 to ISP. And we have the reachability to ISP. So by configuring the same thing on R3, you should be able to reach to the public IP address of the other route. So IP route 000000 000 to 10.0.13.1, which is ISP. Do show IP route. Make sure that configuration in place. Here we go. We set the IP route. Default static route to the ISP and the default static route is add to the routing table. So now I my R3 can reach to the R2 12.2 and here we go. We have a full reachability between R3 to R2. Let's make sure that we can reach the R3 here then 0 0.13.2. Very good. So now R2 and R3 which belong to the same company in two different sites can reach to each other. Next stage is configuring the GRE tunnel. As mentioned, GRE tunnel is kind of point-to-point -point link and we need the source and destination IP address for our tunnel. Uh, this then, by configuring this GRE, this R2 and R3 can see in the same network and can later after that, we can apply any routing protocol over between these two networks. So let's start with R2, go to global configuration, Create the interface tunnel zero. You just the name tunnel is up. You use the question mark to see what we can set. Minimum three things: IP address of the tunnel, which is logical tunnel interface, tunnel source, tunnel destination. So let's start with the tunnel IP address. IP address like normal interface, you can set the IP address 172.16.0. 2.255.255.255.0 slash 24. Here we mentioned we want to go with this. 2, 3. So next configuration is tunnel source 
you can put the geek zero slice zero which is going out from this side actually geek zero slice zero is here we can reach and finally tunnel destination which is ip address public ip address of the destination router which is 10.0.13.2 okay let's take a quick look on the configuration so we create the interface tunnel we set the ip address for tunnel logical tunnel source we set as a gig 0 slash 0 which is output and finally tunnel destination which is public ip address of the r3 so by looking show ip interface brief so tunnel is up and running let's do the configuration on r3 conf t interface tunnel 0 Tunnel is up, IP address is 172.16.03.24, okay, tunnel source is geek 0 slash 0, tunnel destination is 10.0.12.2, which is public IP address of the R2, so let's take a quick look at the configuration. Tunnel interface tunnel zero created set the IP address 172.16.0 tunnel source gig zero slash zero which is connected to the ISP and tunnel destination which is public IP address of the R2. So now show IP interface brief the tunnel is up and running and we can directly ping the other side of the GRA tunnel which we set the IP address as you can see here we beautifully have the communication successful over the tunnel interface so our GRE tunnel is up and running so next step we are going to deploy the simple routing protocol let's say RIP between site A network to site B network first of all in R2 let's take a look at the IP route at the moment beside the default static route we don't have any other routing protocol but we go to the global config for the RIP and other routing protocol. You can refer to our tutorials. We let's say so router RIP version 2, no auto summary, and let's add the network of 192.168.2.0, network of tunnel 172.16.00, and let's add the loopback also because we create the loopback for this purpose. I want to show you. So Let's take a look at the RIP configuration on R2, router RIP, check the version, no auto summary, and advertise the necessary networks. One network is a LAN, tunnel, and loopback. Okay, and let's do the same configuration on R3, router RIP, version 2, no auto network 192.168.3.0 network 172.16.0 network 333 is loopback so let's take a look at this configuration much more cleaner router rip version no auto summary and three networks we want to advertise in a rip network in a second the router must be up show ip route on r3 and as we can see there are several rip routing are added here we learn about the loopback of r2 of course we have a uh, about the network behind the site a actually 192.168.2 is reachable here very beautiful and show ip route rip is much more clear we can see r2 loopback 172.16 is a tunnel uh, via this tunnel we learn about 192.168.2.0 slash 24 and we learn about the this also about the, via the tunnel let's take a look at the r2 and show ip route show ip route rip let's look at the clear version okay we learn about loopback of r3 via tunnel interface we learn about 192 1683.0/24 via the tunnel. So technically, we have a reachability to the network of site B, and from the router we can ping 192.168.3.1. Okay, we can reach, and we expected to have an end-to-end -end conf 
communication between PC0 and PC1, which previously we cannot. So 192.168.3.10. Did I configure the PC1? Not sure. Let's go back and check. Desktop. Okay, no configuration. 192.168.3.10. 192.168.3.1, which is R3 as a gateway. And here we go. Let's ping the gateway. 192.168.3.1. We can go out. And if I go here, I expected this to come up immediately. Yes. From PC0, we can ping the PC1 and vice versa to 2.10. And we can reach. Let's take a look at the trace route. Trace it. 192.168.2.10 and as you can see here beautifully by trace it we can reach to the 192.168.3.1 take the GRE tunnel IP address we don't involve the ISP at all and finally reach to the destination this is the beauty of the GRE when we trace route the packet from here actually take this logical encapsulation and reach to destination. Physical, of course, is go do, but from the R2 and R3 perspective, they can see each other in the same network, which is 172.16.0 slash 24 network. So we can do the same trace route from the here, trace set 192.168.3.10. As you can see here, again, from our site A perspective, reach to our gateway, which is R2. Take the tunnel interface and reach finally to the destination. So this was a very brief uh, video tutorial about the GRE tunnel and how it is uh, useful in the real world. I hope this is informative for you. If you like uh, this video, please, as usual, watch, learn, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you very much. See you soon.